What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. And this is my new wheel. This is the Fanatec CSL Steering Wheel P1 V2. I got this on last year's Black Friday sale. $99. Pretty smoking deal. And the other thing it's noted for is that it has almost zero web presence. You can't hardly find a review on this thing. Uh, so I'm super excited to have it, frankly. I was trying to do research, couldn't find anything. Uh, but I guess I'll have to do my own research. So in this video, I'm going to get it unboxed, get it mounted, and take it for a drive. Let's do it. Alright guys, so just a couple of housekeeping items before we get started with this video. Uh, first of all, this was not sent to me by Fanatec. They've been kind enough to send me a few things in the past, but uh, this is not one of them. I bought this for myself, as I said, at a Black Friday sale. And uh, the second thing is I apologize for the audio. I apologize for kind of being squished into a corner here, doing some rearranging in the studio space, so I don't have much to work with right now, but uh, things will be back to normal in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, why did I buy this? Well, uh, I just was looking for something um, sort of in this sort of basic round wheel line from Fanatec, and there's the BMW option, there is the WRC option, and the classic P1, which I believe is discontinued, but this P1 version 2 really caught my eye at the Black Friday sale, and again, for 99 bucks, how wrong can you really go? So, let's go ahead and get this cracked open, and by the way, I'm going to uh, reveal what this says if you don't like having your Fanatec phrases spoiled uh, turn away for a few seconds and mute me but it says racing is not what I like to do it's winning and I disagree with that I have so much fun racing and I seldom win so thankfully I'm not dependent on that now some of you may astutely notice that that unboxing was a little bit too easy, and you would be correct. I've already had this unbox. Uh, <laughs> did a take one of this video, and uh, I got some facts wrong, so I'm reshooting this. But uh, yeah, it comes in a nice drawstring bag, made it here from the U.S. into Canada, and it is in great shape. So here it is. Here is your Fanatec CSL steering wheel P1 version 2. Now, I mentioned there are previous versions of this. This is the version 2, the P1. It had an MSRP of 90 bucks, I believe. It's It's been discontinued. And there's a WRC version of this with kind of tire tracks across here and the WRC logo. And then there's a BMW version, which is quite similar to this, uh, but it has the BMW logo, and I believe it's mostly orange. So this is a more sort of generic version of those wheels. They're all quite similar, uh, but uh, this is the newest version of the most generic version. And um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about what this is. Um, again, I paid 99 bucks for it. Phenomenal deal for for uh, for Black Friday, and there's just no reviews anywhere. So I guess not many have shipped out. It was listed as limited edition, so I don't know if this is ever going to be available again to the public. Hopefully, it is. It was noted at on Black Friday as being 99 dollars, marked down from 119. So obviously there is an MSRP, so there is some plans to sell it at some point, but they've taken the page off their website as far as I can tell, and there's just not much to be found on this wheel. So I'm, I'm pretty lucky to have one, and uh, yeah, it, it's pretty cool. For 99 bucks, it looks like I'm getting a lot here. So um, on the front of this wheel, it's kind of a carbon fiber looking surface, but uh, just plastic. And then, obviously, a lot of buttons on here, which I'll talk about in a second. The outside here, the BMW and the WRC both have, as far as I can tell, uh, different wrappings to the rim itself. This one feels like Duramold. It's kind of a rubbery, plastic kind of uh, deal. And I've had Duramold wheels in the past, and the great news is they last a long time, and they have good grip. The Bad news is they feel kind of cheap, like if, like for example, the round wheel that I drive most commonly right now is Alcantara, it's the Sim Experience AccuForce wheel, and uh, it's Alcantara, and it doesn't feel, or sorry, this doesn't feel nearly as nice as the Alcantara wheel. It is Duramold, but again, it's going to last forever, so that's the good news, so uh, good durability for the price for sure. Fanatec logo in the middle, obviously, that's the only real branding that's visible. This here is a display, it's a three-digit display for speed and gear primarily. 
Then there's a little bar across the top here and that is used sort of as a uh, tachometer indicator. It goes yellow to red to blue, uh, telling you when to shift. Flipping around the back here, this is the same screw-on type uh, quick release that I have on all my Fanatec wheels. And uh, yeah, so it's not the quick release, or sorry, the uh, QR1, QR2 quick release that uh, Fanatec is uh, shipping on their higher end wheels, I believe now. I don't know about the QR2, but the QR1, I believe, is coming on the higher end wheels. Uh, the shift paddles are the only real notable piece of metal on this, so I don't know if you guys can hear this. Fairly silent. It's got a nicer shifter action. I have the CSL Universal Hub, and I do not like the shift action on that. Um, but this one, a little more solid. It's not as good as a magnetic, but uh, reasonable shift action. It's quick. It's precise. I think it's all you could want. It's not loud. So if any crazy bored sim tuber decides to do some crazy video where he measures the noise level of various shifters. This one will rank towards the bottom of the scale, but I hope nobody ever does that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, and then we come to the front, the buttons, this is not a funky switch. It has left, right, up, and down, but it does not rotate. It does press, though, and it's surrounded by four other buttons. And then we have what looks like a wrench, so obviously calling up pit menus, or maybe telling your pit your crew you're coming in, and it looks like a pit limiter here. And then we have various functions over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons on that side of the wheel. So uh, not, any, not a huge amount of buttons, but uh, definitely enough. As I say, I, I just wanted a generic wheel, something I could rally race with, something I could road race with, uh, or, or race road cars rather with. And uh, yeah, the not having the branding specific to BMW or WRC was important to me. So this kind of uh, fit the bill really nicely. And uh, for 99 bucks, I couldn't resist. And it looks like it has enough bells and whistles. Nothing too fancy, but enough bells and whistles to get me up and going. So uh, overall, first impressions, really, really solid. And um, yeah, a lot of plastic, Duramold. But for 99 bucks, <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like there's a lot of wheel here. So uh, nothing to do now, but uh, get this mounted. Oh, uh, something I was gonna note actually, before I forget, um, if you know the P1 version 1 wheel, uh, it had an Xbox button there, that Xbox button is missing. I'm assuming this is not Xbox compatible. I don't have an Xbox to test it, but uh, it's, it should be PlayStation compatible, uh, but it doesn't look like it's Xbox compatible. So I'm going to get this on my CSL DD, and I'm going to drive some Assetto Corsa. Let's do it. All right, guys, so what better car to test with than, of course, the McLaren P1. So, it might look weird on camera, but the three-digit display right now is displaying speed. And then when I shift, it does show you which gear you have switched to. So, uh, yeah, works perfectly here. There was no firmware updates or anything like that. So, super plug-and-play, super easy. And yeah, so impressions of this wheel, guys. I mean, first of all, I don't know what the point is to me saying anything about this wheel at this point. Because, again, it just uh, seems to have disappeared off the web. So I can't even point you to a link to where to buy this thing. But I'll give you my impressions of a $99 Fanatec wheel just the same. Uh, I mean, I do miss... I, I'm not going to lie. I, I do miss my... Uh, Alcantara wheel, the Duramold does feel cheap in the hands, uh, but most of the time I would be racing with gloves anyway, so it's probably not going to make a huge difference in terms of the feel of it, but if you don't race without gloves, that could be a problem for sure. But again, the thing I like about Duramold is that it's it's very robust. It's, it's going to last forever. It'll probably run, uh, excuse me, get rubbed off uh, on this on the sides here a little bit over time, but uh, yeah, overall it's it's known as quite a obviously durable, but a, I was gonna say robust product. And yeah, guys, um, not just for a ninety-nine dollar wheel, but just generally like to have this much functionality. You got all these buttons here you could map to whatever you wanted, and uh, shift action is nice. It's good to have that display across the top. I mean, I don't really use the uh, the colored bar, 
but uh, you know, it's cool to see the speed there. Cool to see what gear you're going into right in front of you at all times. So for 99 bucks, it's a slam dunk. And if it does go on sale, uh, uh, once again, if they take it out of sort of limited edition status and bring it back at that 120, maybe 130 dollar MSRP, I mean, yeah, I, I would strongly, strongly recommend it. If this was a $200 plus wheel, I mean, we'd be having a different conversation because uh, that Duramold does feel cheap and, uh, you know, there's not a lot of metal anywhere on this unit. So, uh, again, it would be a different conversation if the price point was higher, but um, certainly below $150, yeah, this is a no-brainer. If you're looking for just a good overall multi-purpose wheel or in the future if you're looking for a good multi-purpose wheel very generic branding yeah this seems like it uh, could be a strong contender so that's gonna do it guys pardon me so that's gonna do it guys um, yeah nothing left to say really um, again I, I'd be pushing a little harder on the review aspect of this if I knew when or even if this thing will ever go on sale but in fact if it does go on sale and it comes in at that 120 130 dollar price point then yeah strong recommendation from me this is a, a surprisingly good wheel surprisingly uh, you know high amount of features considering what you pay so slap this on a csl dd and you got a, a good wheel and wheelbase combo here very solid and you're still under the $500 price point. So very impressive once again from Fanatec. So yeah, that's going to do it, guys. That is my sort of mini review, a condensed review of something that I don't know where you can buy or even if. It was limited edition for Black Friday. I hope they bring this back. There's a lot of people that would really enjoy having this wheel, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I've got one more video planned with this p1 v2 so try and make that happen very soon but for now that is it for my review of the csl steering wheel p1 version 2 thank you guys so much for watching